What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode we're gonna be using Affinity Photo to retouch skin and make a portrait turn from this to this. Pretty cool, right? Stick around. Today I'm gonna to share with you my three favorite tips on how to do skin correction to do them fast and effectively. And the first method starts with separating the frequencies. Built into Affinity Photo, we have the ability to separate frequencies. And what that's doing is it's like, basically imagine you're taking your photo and laying it down and then ripping it apart kind of three dimensionally into these layers. And the upper layers are gonna have a lot of the fine detail and the bottom layers are gonna have some of the lower amounts of detail and some of the color. It makes it really, really easy in Affinity Photo. We just wanna unlock the layer, go up to, well first we wanna select the image, just like that. And then we wanna head up to frequency separation. And it's gonna bring up our frequency separation kind of modal, okay? And you can see I can, I can pull this across and it's showing me what over here on the high frequency is actually gonna make it through. What do, I want, what do I want to come through and surface to the high frequency? And what do I wanna keep on the low, okay? I'm gonna do something like that, maybe bring this back down to five. What I'm really just trying to do is just see a little bit of his face, and you're gonna see why in a second. I'm gonna press apply, and it's now cut that image you can see into two different layers. We have high frequency and low frequency. But now what I can do is I can cut out some of the kind of the imperfections in that low frequency and then still keep some of that detail on top. It's like a crisp layer on top of a fixed soft layer. That's what we're going for. So that was step number one is just to separate frequencies. Step number two is to turn off the high frequency and then use the you know, skin retouching tools. You have the healing brush tool, the patch tool, the blemish removal tool, the in-painting brush tool, and you also have the red eye removal tool. He doesn't have any red eye, so we don't have to worry about that. What I like to start with is just the blemish removal tool, and I like to just kind of zoom in here, and you can use the left and the right bracket keys on your computer to just increase or decrease the size of the brush. I just wanna make sure that I have my low frequency layer selected, and I just wanna come in here and just do some retouching like this. And that is step two. So we've gone ahead and just done a little bit of blemish removal. So we're gonna head now back down to the low frequency because the low frequency is where we wanna do the majority of our editing. We wanna come in and we wanna find not the blemish removal, but the healing brush tool. Now the healing brush tool works in a similar way. It's gonna reconstitute pixels, but it's gonna resample the pixels from a designated area that you select. So you're gonna hold down Alt. You can see we have our brush. And if you hold down Alt, you can select an area and then you can just come right next to it and you can paint in just a little bit. So what you don't wanna do is paint up, for instance, over the eye, or go too high right here and start painting in the eye because now you're gonna put eyeballs everywhere, so that's really funky. So you just wanna do little bits at a time. So you wanna come in here and just select here and just kind of move from maybe inside to outside like that. And what you're doing is now you're just kind of smoothing some skin out, just like that. So now you can see we finished doing uh, just a little bit of work using the healing brush tool and we're gonna drop the high frequency back down on it. You can see how different that photo looks from the way that we started. And then we're gonna do our last step which is we're going to just drop a layer mask on it. And in this layer mask what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for areas that are discolored. Okay, so for instance you can see like there's a little bit of discoloring here. Um, there was a little too close to the eyebrow for me to get in there and spot retouch and you can see there's a little bit of discoloring in the back of his face and maybe a little bit down here on his chin next to where his hair, his facial hair is. So the last thing I want to do is I just want to go into my adjustments and I just want to go into the color balance. Okay, and I want to go the opposite way. So again, you're just doing kind of contrast color. If it's a little too red, you want to add just like a little bit of blue to it. You can see if we if we go all the way over, 
what you're gonna see is like one or the other, right? Because right now this adjustment layer is being applied to the whole photo. We're gonna take care of that in a second. But you can see, I want you to look specifically at the kind of blemish areas right here, this little blemish area. So it's a little bit red. You can see as we start to creep over to the side, it's a little less red there. And we can take a little bit more out of it just by adding a little blue and then maybe even dropping a slight amount of green to it. Not too much. This is gonna be a really subtle adjustment, okay? So now we've changed the color balance and when you go back to your layers, you can see you have this color balance kind of adjustment right over the top of it, okay? We can actually, if you wanna do it an easier way, you can just delete the, um, you can delete the mask in that whole layer that we made before. You can just have the color balance adjuster so you can see when I turn it on or off, we don't wanna take away the warmth from his skin, but we do wanna counteract some of the redness in those splotchy areas. So the last thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna put a layer mask on that. We're gonna take our brush, okay? We're gonna make sure that the brush is set all the way to hard and opacity all the way up, and we're gonna make sure that it's on black, okay? And what we're gonna do is just paint it out of there. You can see it went from that real cool blue color that we had before, and now we've painted everything out of it. There's nothing left of that adjustment layer sitting on top. Well now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over to the white color, bring our brush down, and we're gonna bring, we're gonna grab a softer basic brush. So you go into your basic brushes and a softer one, and you're gonna just drop that down. And you can even just drop the opacity down a little bit. And what we're gonna do is get in real tight here in these blemish areas, and we're just, gonna paint them in a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. So you can see how it went from red to like more just neutralizing the color. Last thing we wanna do is we wanna, now that we've created that color balance adjustment and we've just gone in and kind of neutralized some of those redder areas or the blemishes on his face, now we wanna just bring the whole thing together with another color adjustment. So what we wanna do is go click on a different layer on the high frequency, jump down to the adjustments, and you're gonna hit color balance again. And now we have a new color balance layer. We're gonna bring that whole thing above everything, and we are going to just bring up a little bit of the warmth. And now this is really subjective. It's how you want the photo to look. You could want the photo to look really, really cool like that. I'm just gonna do like a little bit more of like a warmer look. So you can see it was a little bit on the green side, right? And, and now I'm bringing the, I'm lifting the whole thing to be a little bit on the bluish red side. Now here's what, here's what you see when it comes to that. I'm gonna zoom in. Those areas that were red and then became like kind of a neutral color and they looked kind of gray, now all of a sudden the whole thing is blended out because of a small color adjustment and it makes everything fit together really, really nicely. And so what we've done is we've just gone and we've separated frequency. Step two, we've used our uh, our retouching tools, whether that be like the spot blemish or the healing brush tool to just go in and smooth things out on that lower frequency. And then the last thing we've done is we've used color and color adjustment layer specifically with some layer mask kind of work in there just to neutralize color and then bring an overall color. And so frequency, retouching, color. Those are the three step process. And you can do any of those or all of those when it comes to retouching photos in a simple way. Here's the before and the after of how these two photos look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and I will actually leave a link to the photo, the free stock photo that I used in this project and also the project file for you to download in the description. If you found the video useful, maybe think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. I like to do a lot of stuff about design and development and software kind of tutorials just like this one. I hope you guys are making amazing stuff. I hope you're designing amazing stuff. I'll talk to you guys soon. See you later.